welcome to Web of Stories. My name is Melinda and today I am here with a book review. Um, I'm going to be talking about the book Bad Kids by Zijin Chen and I hope I pronounced that somewhat close to the way it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, this book was originally published in China in 2014. Um, it has spawned apparently a web series um, but the English translation was published this past Tuesday on June 6. The translator, uh, translator of that version was Michelle Dieter. So this book is labeled as a mystery, and I want to be kind of upfront with the fact that it's not a mystery. There's nothing whatsoever mysterious about this book. You always know who did what and why, but that doesn't mean it's a bad book. Here's the, here's the setup. A man has come up with a plan to kill his in-laws, uh, and he has it perfect. He knows exactly what he's going to do, and there's, it's going to look exactly like an accident. What he doesn't count on is the fact that there are three kids who are at the same location, which is a like a national park, making kind of fun videos of each other. And in doing so, they capture a video of him killing his parents-in-law. This sparks a chain of events that goes places you don't expect to a conclusion that is completely surprising, but really the only conclusion it could come to. As I said, this is not a mystery you know who did everything. The other thing is it's called Bad Kids. That's a little bit just misleading because everybody in this book is bad. <laughs> if you are a person who likes uh, likable characters, this is not the book for you. It just isn't. Um, but if you are someone who likes really fast paced novels, you're going to love this. So here's some things that I liked about it. One was the pacing. This book just keeps going. It, it you know, once you get started on this road, it goes places you don't expect. Um, there's not anything in there that I felt that was superfluous. Everything is there for a reason. I also, even though the characters are really unlikable, all of them, <laughs> there I do appreciate how well they are created. Um, the author clearly knows about human psychology and puts that into these characters. Um, they all make sense as realistic characters. These are people who could exist, which is a frightening concept, but they would be believable as actual human beings. Now, this is a very creative story, I have to say. Um, it's very thought once into this one, and I really, really appreciated that. I was in it. You know, it kept my attention to the very end, and I thought the ending was perfect. There are a few books that I can really say I first thought when I finish is this this one stuck the landing and this one did. This this one stuck the landing. So let me talk about what I didn't like about this book. I'm going to preface this preface this by saying that this is all um I didn't find anything objectively wrong with this book. I think that this is a good book. Um the quality is there, I can appreciate it. The problem is, well let me put it this way. When I started reading this book, I was talking to friends and I was trying to describe what it was like. And they said, well, is it weird like Japanese weird? Because I have sometimes issues with Japanese novels because they're a little bit weird. And I said, no, it's not like a Japanese novel. It's another kind of weird. And I can't figure out what kind of weird that is. Um, and as I read further in the book, it kind I, I got it. What it's like. It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. No holds barred. You don't shy away from violence. You don't shy away from the darker side of, of humanity. You just go for it. But it's got a plan and it sticks to that plan and it just steamrolls forward. And there's a lot of good stuff with that. And if you enjoy Quentin Tarantino movies, this is the book for you. Get this book. You will love it. Things I hate Quentin Tarantino movies. <laughs> I hate them. I've only not hated one of his movies, and I haven't seen all of them, but I have no desire to see more than I've already seen. And the only one I didn't hate was Inglorious Bastards because I'm not surprised when Nazis do horrible things because they were Nazis, and I don't feel bad when horrible things happen to Nazis because they were Nazis. But <laughs> there are no Nazis in this book, but you get what I'm saying. There is a, there is a level of violence and a uh, darker view of the world that Quentin Tarantino has, which is very similar to what is in this book. So I do think that this is a very, very, very appealing book to people who like that sort of thing. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a preference, just isn't my preference. Ultimately, I'm really glad that I read this book. 
Um, as I said, it kept my attention. It kept me going. It had a fantastic ending. Would I read another book in this series? By the way, this is the second book in a series. In the series, um, you would not know that. You would not know that it is a second book. It's a complete standalone. You will not have a problem picking this one up and not reading the first one. Um, I was actually did not realize it was in the series until after I finished it. So um, I would not pick up anything else by this author because it's clearly just not an author. I'm not in the audience that he's writing for, which is fine. You can't, not every author works for you. Not every book works for you. And that's fine because there's going to be a lot of people who really love this book. And if this is your sort of thing, I highly recommend it. Um, and that's Bad Kids by Zijin Chen. It was published in the United States on June 6th, 2023 by Pushkin Vertigo, which is a press I'm not familiar with, but <laughs> it is, it is a uh, very well written. And it, if you like this, it's one of those books that if you like this sort of thing, this is the book for you. So thank you very much. That was short and sweet. And, um, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you've read this book, um, or if this book appeals to you. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.